Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are learning about the DOM document object model, right? So in the previous video, we have seen about the window object and also the document object, how to access the document object using console.dir, we have seen it. So console.dir, we need to use the dir for the document in order to get the data as an object. So here we will be able to see all the properties and methods that are available in the document, we have seen it. <clears throat> so fine so we have seen in such a way that for example let me open the paint in the paint let's say that we have seen the window object okay window object in the window object we have seen document object so how to access the document we have seen so we can access it directly using window dot document or otherwise we can access directly the document fine after the document what it will be there so that is the main thing you need to understand it so we have seen about the window object so this is the what i can say is this is the top one so this is the top in the dom so this is the top object in the dom after the window you will be having so many properties like location history frames like this we'll be having so many options so then after the document object so then what is the hierarchy so the hierarchy if you want to see the hierarchy is let's see example for our html document what is the document available here if you try to see the document in this one so we have seen the window and in the window we have seen the document so as i already told you that if you want to get the document if you see the document you will get only the html data okay so if you want to get it so you need to use the console order so that is the main thing we need to understand it so then you will get all the document object and now after the document so then after comes is the total html document so the hierarchy how it will be is for example here you will get the html so the entire html document here you will be able to see it. then after the html it will be divided into two parts that is head and body so head and body and in this head and body you will be having the title according to our html document and here you will be having the h1 p tag and whatever the tags are available so you'll be able to see it. so this is the complete dom hierarchy so this is called as an dom hierarchy so this is the high level dom hierarchy how the browser maintains it in the dom api so now we understood this one so in the dom hierarchy we have understood so before wrapping up this dom i want to explain you another one is also so before closing up this one for example let's say that in our html document let's say we have a form so here I bring opening one form. So form. And I'll be having one input, basic input. And let's say I'm having another form. So I'm creating an another form. Here I am having a select box. So option. We can have an option. I will use something like select option. So I'm taking only one option. So just I want to show you the demo and here i am having an input type is equal text so right now in our html document we are having two forms if you sorry so if you try to see the output here we will be able to see the two forms okay so this is one form and also this is another form if you want you can also add a submit button for this one so here you can add a submit button so here i will be using button so this one will be automatically if you add button this one will be automatically submit button only button submit anything so like this so here we will be having a submit button okay it is trying to submit the form if you try to understand it so now normally the forms in the html or in the javascript is the main important thing why because the forms carry the data so whatever the user tries to enter the, the data into the html document so these are carried into the forms only so these forms should be accessed by the backend uh, technologies like python ruby rails or anything so they will be uh, so these forms will be sending the data to the to the backend uh, backend uh, languages so for example let's say that how we can access through the javascript so if you want to access the data in the forms means how we can access it so normally the traditional method what you can use it is so the people can tell that I can add an id for this form and i can use get element by id methods which we'll try to learn after, uh, afterwards so get element by id i will give a unique id for this one and also i can add a class or something like that so you can use 
the different varieties of DOM API methods which are available and you can access the form so that's fine but here you need to understand one thing is whenever you are trying to access the form with a get element by id so you need to give the unique id for that one so the entire page if you are having an entire html page so you need to give a unique id so here is the form you need to maintain a unique id submit form or something like this so this name should not be conflicted with any element in the html document so this happens sometimes so the conflicts may come sometimes so the id may not be unique so if the id is not unique means we may not get the form thing so the dom thing the dom hierarchy comes up with comes with a solution that so whenever you want to access the forms because forms are very important in the javascript why because they carry the data to the other programming languages so through the different ways they will be carrying but forms are very much important for carrying the data so for accessing the forms like get element by id these all things is so little bit of uh, not difficult so little bit of uh, we may we may go wrong sometimes so because of that one so the H, the javascript dom comes with a handy method that is nothing but document.forms so you can directly access with the document.forms here it gives you an html collection so forget about this naming convention html collection we'll try to discuss what is this html collection and here you'll be able to see the two forms as an array so right now we are having two forms in our html document right so that is the reason we are able to see two forms so now the first form it indicates about the input and a button so these are all the input and the buttons in return this will have all the object so what is the value for this one and why is there any error for this one these are all the things it will carry and the second one is a button and these are all the properties and methods carry where the <coughs> form thing in the same scenario you can also have another one let me close this one first one it has long way of properties and methods let's close first form yeah this is the second form in return which has a select box and also input box so that is the only thing right which we are having select box and input box so like this we can catch the forms using the dom thing so this is all overall about the dom thing so this is the document object model and in order to access the dom hierarchy so that means this is the dom hierarchy we have seen it right complete the dom hierarchy in order to access this dom hierarchy the browser provides us with an api that is nothing but dom api so this dom api consists of all the methods and properties for accessing or manipulating this dom hierarchy so this is how the high level dom hierarchy will look like in the browser and for accessing this dom or for manipulating this dom or anything used through the javascript the browser provides us an api that is nothing but called as a dom api so this dom api we will try to learn what is this dom api and what are the methods involved in this dom api we will try to learn it so before learning about this dom api and all those things you need to understand another terminology that is nothing but bomb so what is this bomb bomb means browser object model we have seen about this document object model right so now we'll learn about this what is this browser object model and how it is useful we'll try to see about this one also so this is overall complete overview of this dom thing so we have learned what is a document object model and how this dom will be represented and how we can access the window object dom object and how this everything looks like we have seen about all these things hope you understood about this dom api and dom thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.